Ah, I think we're recording. Take picture. Stop recording video. Button. Okay. Um, hello YouTube. So, I know I promised a video this morning, and I feel horrible about not getting it up this morning like I said I would, and I have no good excuse. I got caught up watching Hulu, guys. I am so sorry. Um, you guys might notice I have better quality now. At least I'm pretty sure it's better quality. I, uh, took my phone out of its case to record this video. You guys know I record my videos on my phone. Anyway, let's get to this video. Um, again, sorry it was not put up this morning. I have no good excuse. Anyway, so this video, I would like to cover something that's happening in West Virginia, which most of my subscribers are from West Virginia. And that is the flooding that's happening in, you know, like the Charleston area and stuff. And it's, it's pretty bad, guys. Um, you know, whole roads being washed away. You know, bridges that used to be, you know, like really far above the water are now maybe like five feet above the water or under the water even. Um, if you watch the news or something, there was a picture. I cannot find it. I have no idea how to put pictures on videos. I am, I am horrible at video editing, guys, and I am so sorry about that. I need to start getting someone to do this stuff for me. If I get more subscribers, I will definitely start. I will definitely, you know, put more effort into making these videos aesthetically pleasing to people. It's just at the moment, it's the only person I have on the team right now is me. So, <laughs> team of one, guys. Um, anyway, there was a picture of a house that was burning and the whole house was being washed away by the water. And you know, this video is mostly made to remind everyone that there are people out there now who are homeless or missing or dead. And I would just ask that you guys would pray for them because they, they need prayers, guys. You know, it's, it's pretty bad out there. I mean, I would also like to say that there are people out there doing their best to help. Um, the Salvation Army, for one, my own church, the Salvation Army, you know, we have our canteens down there, and for those of you unfamiliar with what a canteen is, it's a, uh, pretty much a food truck. It's like a kitchen on wheels, pretty much. We've got those down there, you know, we've got those taking care of people. And there are other groups, I feel horrible for not knowing their names, guys. I feel so bad for that. But I don't know these other groups' names. But, you know, pretty much any charitable organization, I'm sure, is down there helping out, you know. With repairs, with search and rescue, with, you know, trying to just do what they can. And, you know, that's, that's the best you can do, guys. Because I, you know, I know several people who have been affected by this flood. And, you know, I thank God that they're okay. You know, a, a, friend of, a close friend of mine, he, he was affected by the flood. I won't give his name here. Because I didn't ask him if it was alright. And I don't like to give out names without permission, guys. I mean, I'm just that kind of person. Um, but a close friend of mine, he was affected by the flood. And, you know, it was it was pretty bad. But I, I thank God that he was okay. You know, cause it, it could have been much worse. I mean, he sent me a message. And, you know, this is, this is something for all of us to remember, guys. And he said he's, he's thankful because he got out of his life. And that's, you know, that's a little something we can all remember, okay? But, you know, I just, I want everyone to pray for these people, you know. Or do what you can, you know, if, whatever you can do to help out. Um, I myself was going to be down there helping, but, uh circumstances prevented me from going. Um, if the Salvation Army is still needed soon, I'll be heading out myself if we needed. Kind of sad that circumstances prevented me from going. I really would have loved to help out, guys. Um, but I'll take what I get. You know, I'll, I'll do what I can from here. I mean, you know, this video is my contribution. Well, part of it, I mean, I'm going to contribute more, obviously, but this video is part of my contribution, you know. Getting the awareness out there, and you know, West Virginia's my home, guys. And I'm sure it's a lot of y'all's too. I mean, you know, I mean, I'd hate to see people in this state, you know, displaced and dead and stuff, you know, missing. Um, there was a woman who lost her child. I don't know the child's name either. 
I don't know these names, guys, and I feel bad for it, but, you know, I, it's, you know, I try to get all the facts. Like, I can't get everything, guys. Take picture. Five. five minutes. Eight seconds. You take picture. Stop recording video. Stop so, recording video. Stop recording video. A woman Button. and her child, or her child, was swept away by the waters, and, you know, and I just, I want to pray for this woman, guys. I want everyone to pray for her, you know, because she lost her child. Um, you know, there were people who were trapped inside of a mall, you know, and that's actually a blessing in a way, you know, God provided them with a place to be that, you know, it was, it was safe, you know, it was, you know, the mall itself wasn't flooded, just the roads, you know, to like the bridges or whatever, but, you know, it was safe, they had plenty of food, you know, water, clothing, everything they could need, and, you know, it was right there. And another thing I'd like to point out... And this is why I love living in West Virginia, and why I either plan on moving to staying in West Virginia or moving to Kentucky when I'm out on my own, is that, and this is Southern values right here, guys, you know, there's not a whole lot of rioting and violence and stuff. You, know, you take another state, I don't know, take California, and no offense to anyone who's from California, it's just I've noticed this in states like, or Maryland, yeah, yeah we'll use Maryland as an example. Um, I've noticed, and it, not everyone in Maryland's like this, and I'm not saying anything bad about Maryland, guys. It's just, you know, in a city like Baltimore, if stuff like this went on, you know, it, you know, stuff, small stuff has turned into riots in Baltimore before, and, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about Baltimore, guys. I'm just, and I'm sure that they wouldn't riot during a natural disaster, guys. I'm just, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of sad that, it takes a disaster to bring people together, but that's what it, you know, that if that's what it takes, and that's what it takes, and that's really sad, guys. You know, we should work on trying to bring people together all the time, not just when there's a natural disaster, like a flood, or, you know, there were some tornadoes that touched down in West Virginia. Um, like I said, this is my home, guys. And, you know, it's, it's a beautiful state. If you've never been down here, I can't imagine any of my subscribers haven't been to West Virginia, because... I can't imagine anyone that doesn't know me being subscribed to this channel. If you are, I would feel so bad for not noticing. Um, I only have 10 subscribers. Found out this morning I have 10. But that's an improvement, because I, before I only had 9. <laughs> um, you know, but I, I can't imagine that anyone hasn't been to West Virginia. Anyone who subscribed to me at the moment. Now, if, again, if you haven't been to West Virginia and you are subscribed to me, I'm sorry for leaving you out. But, you know, most people have been to West Virginia, and if you've been to the places that have been flooded, most of you will agree they're beautiful places. You know, I mean, but, I mean, it's sad that uh, it takes a natural disaster, a flood, to bring people together. And I would just, I really want you guys to pray for these people. You know, or reach out, let them know that you're there for them. You know, if you have a friend, that you're worried about, then, you know, find out, guys. Or if you know someone who knows someone, you know, if you have any connection whatsoever to anyone down there, then let them know that you're praying for them, guys. Let them know that you're thinking about them. Because, you know, maybe that's all the hope they need. You know, it's just to know that people are out there. People are out there caring about them and praying for them. And give them that hope, guys. So if you give them that hope, then you know maybe it'll give some people the strength to go on. You know, like I said, the woman I heard about who lost her child, she needs she needs some hope right now, guys. And it's it's horrible to think about all of this. And uh, last time I heard, the death toll was at like 26, 29, somewhere around there. I can't remember how many people were missing. It was a good bit of injuries, but, you know, and no death at all is good at all, guys. Like, even if it had been a death toll of one, it still wouldn't be good. Even if it had been a death toll of none, the fact that, you know, there was flooding, that people have lost their homes, that's bad enough. I don't know, guys. Um, yeah, there have been several issues that have come up about this whole flooding, and I'm going to try to avoid them. You know, like, several political things that have come up about it. I'm going to try and avoid them, 
just for the fact that this isn't a video for politics, and I don't want politics to ruin this video, because that's what politics will do, guys. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, Take picture. Viewfinder. Ten minutes. Seven seconds. Right. Viewfinder. Take pic. Stop recording video. Button. I'm get ready to stop this video. My phone needs to rest also. Again, the battery's going to overheat, and my phone's going to blow up in my hands. I said I've been watching Hulu all day. Really should stop. And I've been watching um, Netflix. I really should stop marathoning shows all the time. <laughs> and I've been listening to Pandora when I haven't been doing that. Well, that and I went through my old emails. Well, you, you guys probably don't want to hear any of that. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I actually had two problems with the World Today videos that I meant up, that I'm working on. Um, both of them I intend to be surprises. So hopefully neither one. Uh, wait, 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 never mind. I forgot what I was saying. Um, hopefully neither one really gets the you know, titles or anything get out before I'm finished with them. Um, I will attempt to upload one tomorrow. But as you see, I promised a video in the morning and that didn't happen. And I cannot promise uh, another one, when the other one will be up. Anyway, guys, I need to cut this video. Like I said, just pray for these people and help out in any way that you can with this flooding. Anyway, guys. Anyway, and, and God bless you guys if you do. Um, that's all for this video. Stop recording video.